Reading for March 4th, Science of Mind, A Philosophy of Faith, A Way of Life by Ernest Holmes. Reading from page 140, paragraph 3, through page 141, paragraph 2, using inclusive language. It is done unto us. What a marvelous thought to bear in mind that it is done unto us. We need not coerce, we do not create the power, but we must let this great power operate through us. In the infinity of mind, there is nothing but mind and what mind does, its operations. This mind is acted upon by our thought, and in this way, thought becomes the law of our lives. It is just as much a law in our individual lives as God's thought is in the larger life of the universe. We do not create. We use the power of the one mind which creates for us. Our beliefs and our deep-seated convictions inevitably outpicture and reflect themselves in our experience and environment, both in the physical condition of the body and in the larger world of our affairs. What we outwardly are and what we are to become depends upon what we are thinking, for this is the way we are using creative power. The sooner we release our minds from the thought that we have to create, the sooner we shall be able to work in line with spirit. Always we use, we never create anything. The united intelligence of the human race could not make a single rosebud, but our thought, centered in mind, is using the creative power of the universe. Law of life is a law of thought, an activity of consciousness. The power flows through us. The spirit can do for us only what it can do through us. Unless we are able to provide the consciousness, it cannot make the gift. The power behind all things is without limit, but in working for us, it must work through us. Realizing then that while the power is limitless, it must become operative through our own thought. We shall see that what we need is not some greater power, but a greater consciousness a deeper realization of life, a more sublime concept of being, a more intimate concept of an already indwelling God who is personal to us by virtue of being personified through us.